might I add, it is April 1st and there's snow on the ground. Like, a lot of it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Didn't you just get a new phone six months ago? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Hey guys, it's Jordan and today I'm here with another exciting video because, as you can see in the title, I did get a new phone. Now, I'm kind of a little bit regretting on getting this phone. I mean, it's pretty much the same phone as my last one. Couple different features, I'm gonna explain a little more in detail. But if you keep asking, like, why I'm getting all these new phones and stuff, I had a deal with T-Mobile where I was able to get, like, four different phones throughout the course of, I think, like, 12 to 18 months. So this, I think, is my third phone. I get one more, and I think it'll expire in, like, October or December, something like that. So I'm super excited to show you guys my new phone. I'm not gonna go too in-depth on, like, what's on it. It's not, it's not like a what's on my phone kind of video. Just gonna tell you my likes and dislikes about my new phone and tell you a little bit about it. I actually pre-ordered the new Galaxy S7 Edge from T-Mobile and I got it on the 8th of March, so actually a few days before it actually released. And I don't know if other people got it. I'm, I'm sure other people got it before the release date, obviously, if you pre-ordered it. I did. I'm not special. Wish I was. Um, I got it in the mail on the 8th and it came in a box and then it came in another box and this is the phone box itself, big, um, and I got the black phone, but all of the boxes were black. The only, yeah, so the only difference on the boxes, so that you could tell, like, the phone color was, like, it literally said black onyx or silver titanium or whatever the color was, and this was, like, colored the same, so it would be gold or silver. Um, I don't think they made a white one, um, I only remember gold, silver, and black. So yeah, I got the black one, 32 gigabyte, and I did get the edge. So there was a regular and there was a like a non-edge and then there was the edge. The edge is a slightly bit bigger than the other one. Kind of going back and forth on myself on whether I regret getting the edge or whether I should have gotten just the other one or, you know, kept my other phone. That's another story for another time, I know. But when you open the box, this is what you get. So you open it and it's a Samsung right there. And it's like this cute little like fully deal, and here's the phone. Um, I did, this is my phone, this is mine in the box, it's not like a fake one. And yep, yeah, so this is the phone, and then it comes out, obviously. Then there's a little tray. This is like some SIM cards that came with it. Then there's a little envelope with all of your user manuals and stuff. And then in the box, you get, oh, 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 it's closing, sorry. And then in the rest of the box, it comes with a little black, like, clear black case with the headphones in it. I thought they were black headphones. I was so excited when I thought they were black, but it was just the case. White headphones, they are the standard um, new Samsung ones, kind of like the Apple ones where they kind of go in your ear a little bit. Uh, you get the charger and the cord. Um, it's the fast charging adapter. Um, it's plugged in. I didn't really feel like getting it. You all know what a charger cord looks like in the adapter, I'm sure. I mean, if you don't, have you been living under a rock? And then there's this cool little nifty thing that they give you, and this is the USB connector. Uh, this is a USB connector, and this is the USB side, and then this is the part that goes into your phone. And this allows you to either plug it into the computer, or plug it into the other phone. Like, when I first turned on the phone, it told me to plug this into my phone and plug my S6 into this. So like, you know, plug the phone into the phone and that's how you transfer stuff. So I guess that makes it a little convenient. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, my brother also says you can put a flash drive in there. So to expand the memory even more, you plug this into your phone, plug the flash drive into the other end and then just transfer like that. Simple, right? So my phone itself, uh, like I said, I got the black one. Um, I don't have a screen protector on it. I did buy a case. Um, but I bought the case a little bit too late. Sad to say, my phone is actually already broken, cracked, and shattered on the back. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Um, trying to hold it up any way I can. There's a giant spider web right here. Goes all the way up to the camera. So sad, I was getting into my car and it fell out of my pocket and it just cracked. There's a little scuff, scuff on the bottom. But other than that, um, everything else 
works fine. I don't know if this crack still makes it waterproof um, or like water resistant, I guess. Um, I've tried doing some research to see, but nobody's, you know, dropped and broken theirs yet. So I wouldn't know. Let me know if anybody finds out if it's still water resistant. I feel really stupid for dropping it. But other than that, everything else is good. Um, like I said, I did buy a case. Again, it was a little too late. I went and bought uh, an otter box. I went and just bought an otter box from T-Mobile. It's pink and blue. I figured because it's an otter box, it should protect it a little bit, right? So, I mean, you can't really see it. It's on the back. I mean, I'm not too upset about it now, but I was very upset about it because I was still debating on whether I was going to keep my old phone and just give this one back because of the dislikes that I'm about to talk to you with right now. Alright, so getting into the dislikes of my phone, when I first opened the box and I was looking at the phone, obviously, when I was looking at the phone at T-Mobile and at Best Buy, I don't know, I don't, I don't know why I wasn't inspecting it like I was when I got it, because I, I don't know why I just made up my mind that I wanted the phone without even, like, I played with it a little bit, but I, like, I knew what it did already, I knew that it was going to be kind of exactly like my last phone and I didn't really play along like play around with it so when I got it I opened it and I noticed that it doesn't have an IR blaster and if you don't know what an IR blaster is an IR blaster is what it's like an infrared sensor and it allows your phone to control your television and I have been using that feature since I got my tablet um, like my very first Samsung, what is it? It's the Samsung, uh, Samsung 10.1 tab. Like it's the very first like Samsung tablet and it was able to control my TV. And then I had my S5. It will control my TV. I got the iPhone, pretty sad, couldn't control my TV. So then I switched back to the S6, could control my TV. This one, you can't. This one, this one won't do anything. Now you can download, you can download the app all you want. But you need this freaking sensor that it doesn't have to change the channels. Another dislike of mine is, I mean, it's kind of weird, but I don't, hold on, let me see if this one does it. Yeah, so I'll show you on my S5, and my S6 was the exact same way, and I, and I know iPhone is this way, but I don't like it. So, well, on iPhone it's okay, but on my phone it's not okay. So, it's about the lock screen. On my lock screen, as soon as I press this power button, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but as soon as I press the power button, it shows me my pattern. Or it'll show me the numbers to type in a pin code to get into my phone or do my pattern. Okay? You know? Whoop! Pattern. Done. In. Okay? This phone. Same with the iPhone. It says swipe screen to unlock. So you have to go through one screen to get to the pattern screen to get into the phone. I don't like that. I like this, you know, one screen, whoop, 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 dealio, whoop, duh. I don't like that I have to swipe screen to unlock and then go in, you know? Like, why? What if you were trying to get in there fast? Like, what if you were trying to run from somebody or your fingers had just been cut off or something and you're just trying to, you know, with your elbow and you got to go through all these screens just to get to your unlock screen? Does that make any sense? <sighs> I think they got that from Apple. Since that happened, I don't I don't want any like lock on my screen. So I just swipe screen to unlock. There's one way to get it. Just one screen. So another feature that I don't really like is the front camera. Now I haven't really done a whole like investigation, research into how many megapixels and shit it is. But why would you downgrade the camera? if you're trying to get people to buy like it doesn't make any sense so I don't know if it's my camera I don't know if it's all the cameras but I'll show you two pictures I'm gonna do it right now I'm gonna take a picture of my eyes and my eyes I use my eyes as an example because I could see the like streaks of color in my eye I like that like as the example so I'm gonna take a picture of my eyes with my phone and I'm gonna take a picture of my eyes with my iPod touch 5 so I'm gonna show you the two pictures side by side you tell me if the Galaxy S7 picture does not look more blurry than the i or the iPod picture.
I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if I'm crazy. Don't know if it's just my camera. But to me, my eyes look blurry. You can't see the streaks of the color. It's just like a blob of the color. You know, you can see the different colors, but in blob formation. On the iPhone picture, I feel like you can see the streaks. Like, I, I don't know. You tell me. Look at the pictures, okay? And my last dislike is that it's already broken, that I already cracked it and broke it, and I have to pay about $200 to get a whole new one, and I can't get, a, like, my fourth phone until I pay that $200 to get a new one of this to then return in mint condition to T-Mobile. So, I have to pay $200 pretty much to get a new phone when I decide to get a new phone. On to the likes. Everybody likes the likes of the phone. You know, you wanna know what I actually enjoy about this new device that I got. And what I can say is pretty cool is that water resistance. Um, if mine was not broken, you know, I would show you. But again, I don't know if that'll affect it. I don't want my phone to break on camera. Nobody wants that. I mean, everybody actually wants that. But I'm not gonna show you that, sorry. I don't want that. When T-Mobile announced it or like unboxed it or whatever they unboxed it underwater and turned it on underwater and was playing with it like underwater and that was just so cool and I heard it last at least like 30 minutes under like three feet of water so I mean that'll last drop it in the toilet drop it in the lake I've dropped mine in the river you know <laughs> second favorite thing about my phone is the edge um I didn't think I would like the edge I'm enjoying the edge but I don't see the point of the edge. Does that make sense? The edge is here. Yeah, you can access it on a lock screen. You can, you know, have all these different windows. My windows, I have just the apps, so I can access Maps, Starbucks, my clock, Snapchat, oops, my calculator, Spotify, and my settings. So these are probably like the ones that I would access if I needed, like, quickly, or maybe while I'm driving, which is bad, don't do that. In depth, tasks, Makes sense? Yeah. So then there's the people edge and I could put like contacts on there to just access the contact directly. This is like a compass and like a ruler. Um, I have a weather and then my RAM status. I don't know why I care about the RAM. There's a bunch of different windows. I mean you can have like sports updates, you can have news updates, you can have a bunch of different things like pictures I think on the edge. Um, those are just the ones I like and I use. I'm super excited that they added that SD card slot again so you can expand your memory, you can add as many gigabytes as you want on top of the gigabytes that are already on the phone. So mine is a 32 gigabyte phone and I added a 32 gigabyte SD card when I got it. So that makes my phone 64 gigabytes or I think it's like 60 when it like rounds out because it's like, I don't know. It's like it's like money, it's like tax. That's a super cool feature if you take videos on your phone like me or take a lot of pictures like me. I just transfer all the photos and the videos to that SD card, but never, ever, 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 ever transfer apps or games or anything that's not like a file, like music is okay, pictures, videos, like files are okay, but don't ever transfer the app. You know why? The app will corrupt your SD card and you will lose everything else that's on your SD card because one day it'll just stop working and you'll have to take it and you'll be like, hmm, what's wrong? You'll be like, oh, there's nothing we could do. You need a new one. Sorry, you lost it. Blah, done. That's what happened to me. I don't think any of those pictures were backed up. I don't, I don't remember what phone it was on that it corrupted it, but all my pictures were gone and it super duper sucked because I hate losing pictures. You know, I like pictures. I like taking pictures and I like saving pictures and it just sucked. So don't ever transfer the apps to the SD card. Okay? Good. Two more features I super duper really love are the back camera video. You can set this to uh, 60 frames per second. That is like what the, what is it, the Canon G7X shoots at. Like that's pretty damn good quality stabiliz stabilization, stabilizing that you can get on a phone. So I really like that feature. Um, you'll probably see a lot more clips with my phone camera rather than my camera camera because my camera camera sucks. But that's a super cool feature. I love, again, the front camera is not the best, but the back camera super good. I take a lot of um, just normal pictures with my other camera because 
selfie camera shit. And then there's this awesome cool feature that, like, when you're playing a game, here, let me bring up any game. I'm just gonna bring up a game. So, you can record, like, screen record your game. So, you know how, like, the Mac comes with QuickTime that you can screen record what you're playing on your Mac or your Mac screen or whatever, and you know you can buy those softwares and you screen record your computer, whatever. Or, I think Xbox does it, you can screen record. You know how gaming people do that, right? Okay. Well, you can now do it on your phone. So there's this like little toggle thing that pops up in your games and you're able to screen record your games. So if I'm needing a favorite app or something, I'm just going to screen record that and show you guys through that. So how cool is that? So I've never had that on any anything and you know how I was complaining about that last month in my favorites video, how I couldn't screen record sims for you guys and I was just shooting it off my computer screen so that'll be cool if I get any cool apps on my phone I'm not into my phone games much but we'll see I'm gonna try it out um, I've only had my phone about a month so it'll be a month and like seven days so I'm getting used to it liking it more I did get a really cool thing with my phone um, because I pre-ordered it I got a year free of Netflix and I've already set that up, I've already got my Netflix going, loving it. Even though we already had Netflix, it's already, it's like cool to have my own account. And then I did get a free Galaxy Gear VR, so stay tuned for that video, that'll be part two of this video. Um, I'm gonna unbox my Gear VR and play around with it, I've never played with one before. I put one on at Best Buy a little bit, and I was, but I couldn't, the Best Buy one was not working, so haven't had a chance to play with it myself, so I'm going to unbox my own here in a few. And I can't wait to play with that and see how that goes. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that button down below to subscribe. Let me know what phone you want me to get next. Maybe I should get another iPhone. I don't know. I have such a love-hate relationship with iPhone. You all know that. Everybody knows that. If you like more tech videos like this and you like me talking about the cool new techie stuff that I get, please let me know. Give that button a thumbs up. Hit that button down below to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye. You guys want to hear my ringtones? I'll show you my ringtones. Okay, this this is my ringtone if people call me. <laughs> Love Deadpool. This is my notification sound. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? It's Dan Daniel! Again with the white band.